Earlier you mentioned that you know the the previous scriptures were corrupted or were changed. Uh, what is your proof in terms of Quran not being a change? And you mentioned and you use it as a proof that you know uh, Jesus was a prophet using uh, Quranic text and all that. Uh, somebody can come to us, a non-Muslim, claiming that the Quranic text was changed and hence removed the proof of Jesus being God himself. Mm -hmm. How do you okay. answer that? We can answer that again from a religious perspective and also from a historical perspective. Okay. From a religious perspective, the Muslim uh, would say, look, this Quran uh, is mentioned, uh, it's mentioned in the Quran itself that God will protect this book. So the Muslim, believe, uh, that mu the Muslim believes that this Quran is revealed uh, by God Almighty and uh, God is speaking in this Quran. And God says in Surah 15, verse number 9, We have revealed the remembrance and we are protecting it. Uh, so since God is the protector of this book, right. and nothing can be changed in it. In, in Surah Fussilat, the 41st chapter of the Quran, it says, لا يأتيه الباطل من بين يديه ولا من خلفه uh, No uh, a falsehood can come to it either from the beginning or, or from the end. It can't right, come from right. either direction. Right. This is a revelation from the Almighty God. Now somebody might say, okay, but that's your religious perspective. We, really, we, we respect that, we, but we don't believe you. <laughs> uh, okay, so that's for the Muslim. What about for the historian? Historians generally believe that the Quran that Muslims are reading today is a very faithful reproduction of that Quran which was once proclaimed by the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon so him. Nice. They think that uh, the Quran was soon after his death uh, collected in writing, uh, especially in the Caliphate of uh, Uthman, mm -hmm. uh, the third Caliph uh, mm -hmm. after the Prophet, peace be upon him. So this was definitely within 24 years after the uh, passing away of our Prophet. That means within the lifetime of the original eyewitnesses the people who saw the Prophet Muhammad, who lived with him, who walked with him, and who heard the original Quran directly from his ears. Since people believe this to be the word of God, you don't expect that within this short period of time, and in the lifetime of the original witnesses, anyone would dare introduce any change in right, the book. Right, right. So from a historical perspective, it looks fairly certain that the Quran we're reading today is as delivered by the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Thank you for clarifying that, Imam.